Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I know. Here we are back with another video. I know you're probably like, when is she gonna stop? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay guys, for today's video, we are going to be continuing my series on a TikTok TV show. I highly recommend you go watch that video first. Basically, there is a TV show on YouTube called Attaway General. <laughs> I can't even say it without laughing, but basically it's a TV show on YouTube full of TikTokers and we are going to sit here and review it because I was a film major before I dropped out of college. Thank you. So we are on episode three, Globalstoma. <laughs> Gilo it's Geoblastoma, Geloblastoma. How do you pronounce that? Anyways. <clears throat> I'm ready to enjoy some television. <laughs> Molly, this is Kit and Rosie. They're gonna be your chaperones today. Oh, actually I was hoping to be assigned to Holden's case, but you're assigned to Molly. Say hi to Molly. That girl says, I wanna be assigned to Holden's case. That was her medical lover in the first few episodes. Like I said, go watch it, please. So, who's Holden? None of your business. He's a cute boy she has a crush on. Do not. Do too. Do not. Come on, you mentioned his name a dozen times. Molly! <laughs> imagine just, <laughs> imagine being in the hospital bed and your nurses or volunteer, whatever the fuck they are, chatting away at some boy and just. Do not. Do too. Do not. Come on, you mentioned. Um, I don't know if you saw the first video, but the acting is not that great. But you know what? As an adult, I feel like these children are underage. These, these children are minors. So I feel like I shouldn't be sitting here like judging them like that. But at the same time, I did go to school for film and then dropped out when I almost finished. So I feel like I do have a little bit of credential. <laughs> no pulse. I'll start CPR. Rosie, straighten the gurney. You need a flat surface. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rosie, what are you doing? Go get help. 11, 12. A lot of issues that these young actors have is that they talk really fast, probably because they're like too nervous and I feel like that takes away from the moment. Like I said, my credentials. If you're watching this actors, please just talk a little slower. Um, <laughs> I know you want my opinion. Can I have some friends over tonight, Dad? No. <laughs> okay, the fact that that is her, they cast that this man as her dad is so funny. <laughs> Isn't the whole Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio family, aren't they all like TikTok people? Like, can't they just, you know, cast the whole family? I've seen your report card. There's clearly some studying you could do. On a Friday night? Georgia, you need to take your education more seriously. I gotta go. Another great talk, Dad. Another great talk, Daddy. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and make fun of the way she talks. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good job. The first five minutes are the most critical. Thank you. Okay, clear. I'll talk to you. Oh my God! Ooh! She went. She grabbed that man by the chest and said, "Let's go." Uh-oh, don't know who she is. Oh wait, didn't we meet her? She was like the, the nurse person in the in the first episode. Oh, she saw it. She saw it. Oh, it's bad. I know it's not an ocean view, but it beats the ICU. I'm gonna go have a chat with your parents, but Jack will be here to keep you company. Let me know if you guys need anything. I think, I don't know if my ears are just really like closed. I struggle with selective hearing. I don't know what the fuck it is, but I just really can't seem to grasp what they're saying at any given moment. So <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Do you mind? So in the first episode, um, Miss Dixie and that boy, I forget his name, but he, the TikTok boy um, in the in the top in the TikTok house, but they started to get a little hanky panky going on um, in the closet, and I think she's getting caught for it right now. 
Look, I know what's going on between you and Will. He picks a new one every year. New one. Girl. Girl, she just called her a whore. whore. It's nothing like that. You should probably walk away before you get your heart broken. Thanks for the tip. Bitter much? Are you okay? Do you need me to get someone? A doctor? I'm fine. Sorry. Just need a moment to be upset, okay? I get that. Oh, having a hole in your heart's pretty relatable, huh? Nope. But I know what it's like to pretend to be okay when you're really not. <laughs> I think Holden had some hope in that moment. Come on, I want you to work. Hi, Mom. Do you mind stepping outside? I need to speak with Molly and her mom. Oh, Rosie, no, not you. You're fine. You can stay. Just kidding. Are you kidding? Excuse me? <laughs> so we're picking favorites now, Doc. Okay. I'm gonna be with you the whole time, okay? I'll walk you through everything that's going on in there. Hey, you're gonna do great, kiddo. Yeah? She's got this mom. I see what's happening. Dixie is resenting her father for not being there for her when she was growing up because he was a doctor. But when she sees that he's there for other kids, she feels some type of way. Bye. <laughs> Honestly, I can appreciate the realness that they're bringing to Adway General, so much love to that. Georgia, wait. Do you want to go talk in the shed? Go ask Maeve or that other girl. So maybe Homegirl was right about this guy whose name I still don't know. Georgia does not want to be with you. You're a player, bitch. Oh, is that a fresh pot? Yeah. You want to swoop in and take it for yourself, like you do with everything else? What? Oh, please. All you do is suck up to the doctors and nurses here and act like an angel. I know your game. I have no game. I'm just here to give back. There you go again. Always with the perfect answer, ready to go. No, Drop I... Drop the act. What did you do to get to stay with Molly? Be Dr. Henry's pet? I am not his pet. I am his former patient. Patient? Things are getting revealed. We're seeing it coming to life. Yeah, I have the same form of brain cancer as Molly. I'm Dr. Henry's poster child. That's why he asked me to stay. Come on, son. save me. That's the look of somebody who, uh, fuck dog. Girl, stop judging. I don't know your, I'm gonna just call her Christina because I don't know her real name. Stop judging. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. There's a lot you don't know. All I've ever wanted is to be a doctor, but maybe I'm not good enough. What's she talking about? You're the brainiest teenager I've ever met. Okay, guys, so that was episode three. We're gonna watch another one, episode four, called The Sugar Kingdom. Who's excited? Okay. Need help. Kate, grab the wheelchair. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. She literally goes away like this. <laughs> Who are these flowers for? Is he gay? Did he say that? I don't remember. If it isn't Bus Boy, the one and only. How's my favorite doctor? I'm not a doctor. Oh, I know. I was asking about Dr. Henry. Can you guys stop flirting and someone scratch my knee, please? We're not. We are definitely not flirting. Hold in. I've been so worried about you. How are you? Hey, babe. Okay. What are you doing here? I'm shadowing Dr. Henry for Molly's surgery but only if it's okay with Molly. Don't let him do it. Georgia, seriously? Just talk to me. Why are you so mad? Did I miss something? Didn't they just kiss like a total of four times? Do they even hang outside outside the hospital? There's so many holes. My... Can we talk about us? I think we should keep this strictly professional. <laughs> what did I do wrong? What? 
professional. Y'all just hang out at the hospital. Shit. I don't know how much more I can think of this, baby. I don't know how much more I can think of this at all. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I have a tonsil stone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have one. That's gross. I'll have an OR ready soon. Oh my. <gasps> You're not helping. What the heck happened? <laughs> Oh, what the? You. As if my day couldn't get any worse. You guys know each other? He's the one that did this to me. Now we're getting somewhere. TikTokers be like, I'm an actress. Okay. <laughs> Look, these are for Molly. Aren't they pretty? I'm so nervous for her surgery today. She's going to be fine. She has her dad. Can we not talk about my dad? I'm just saying, he's great. Yeah, well, you know better than I do. You spend more time with him. So Miss Georgia has some daddy issues. I really wish they would talk about that a little more. I feel like that is more relevant to what is going on. So, you know. Can we not talk about my dad? <laughs> and then when you wake up, it'll be a little scary. You might not know where you are for a moment, but don't worry, I'll be there the whole time. <laughs> The acting, I just can't get over it. I just. Georgia, wait up. I can't, I'm late for something. Late for what? James, can you please take a hint and leave me alone? You can't just not talk to me forever. Like you said, it's a small hospital. Okay, didn't they have like, a date and then break up in real life? Mm, a little bit of foreshadowing. Yum, yum. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Good, I'm sorry, I'm almost done. Great. You okay? <laughs> okay, me when I want attention. Hi, what's up? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? I just have a little headache. Why don't you go lay down? Is sure? Positive. The shed's open. Thank you. Is her brain tumor acting up? That could be it. Did Jack have something to do with that arrow? No, I have my little brother to thank for that. The kid is terrible aim. But because of Jack, I got in trouble and I'm stuck babysitting the little stinker all summer long. But what did Jack do? You mean he never told you why he got community service? Well, a few months ago, Jack convinced me that he knew how to drive and spoiler alert, he couldn't. He ended up crashing my dad's car into a telephone pole. I thought I could do it. Yeah, you thought you could. To be honest, I don't really remember. You don't? Okay, so now we know Jack's big secret. In the first episode, we saw that he was there and he wouldn't say why. This reminds me of the time when I stole my parents' BMW and went for a little joyride and I didn't have a license or a permit. And I hit a mailbox. <laughs> Georgia, would you just hear me out? No. I just want to say it's different with you. I want you to be my girlfriend. What did you just say? So... I don't know. I gotta think about it. I need to make sure you're worth the risk. <laughs> Girl, let me tell you, he's probably not. Come on. This white boy is not worth the risk, I'll tell you that. Also, what risk? You, do you want the um the chai, the iced chai with less sweetened in it? Sorry guys, I had a little bit of pit mail. <laughs> Sorry. I caught the order. Ha ha ha. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> There's definitely something in my throat and I think it's a tonsil stone. That sounds like a rap song. There's definitely something in my throat and I think it's a tonsil stone, yeah. Listen, I know I messed up, but you're still my best friend. You were the first one to check out by me when I got my appendix taken out. I just wanted an excuse to skip school. <laughs> um, that's kind of scary a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Is he packing? <laughs> okay, this is- Is everything okay with you? Yeah, me and Donnie made up. All good. But like, are you okay? I can't help but feel like there's a pattern forming here. What do you mean, what pattern? The filing fiasco, thinking you can drive and barely remembering it. This man, he's either on Xanax or a drunk. Oh gosh, this is heartbreaking. Young people getting taken by- He's gay. <laughs> Talking to someone might help. You mean like a shrink? Yeah, a psychiatrist. Mental health is just important. Would you stop with your little Miss Doctor impression? Yes, Brad. Talk about mental health, Daddy. Yes, Adway General. Let's get sickening. Stop with your little Miss Doctor impression. We're all sick of it. 
just leave me alone. <laughs> He clocked her real good. He said, shut up. That's probably like the best acting this man has done in five episodes. Well, I'm really proud of you. You've come a long way. I don't see anything but bright things for your future. You're at the top of the list for the scholarship next year. Thank you. Oh, but Will, I think it'd be best if you stayed away from Georgia. I wouldn't want anything to get in the way of our work together. Understood. See you tomorrow. Ooh, wow, way to end on a cliffhanger. He said, stay the fuck away from Georgia or you are not getting your scholarship, sir. Or you are not going to college, sir. I will make sure your life is ruined, sir. You will not have a career in medicine, sir. Alrighty, that was very fun. Um, I think we're gonna end the video here. What's gonna happen to Georgia and the boys' relationship? Are we ever gonna find out if Jack is a drug addict or just gay? Is that other girl's, <laughs> I need to find out their names. Is that other girl's brain cancer back? How will that other girl stop being perfect? Oh my god, I'm such a little like film buff. Thank you for allowing me to do this, you guys. Bye! <laughs>